Well, hello everybody. How is everybody doing? Can you hear me? Just tell me or uh, type something in the chat window. Can you hear me? You can't hear me. That's strange. Okay. All right. Just wait a second. I will just check. Wait a second. Sometimes it happens. We'll check, we'll see what we can do. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Well, I don't know what is going on. It usually works fine. I can't understand, I can't think of anything. But I'm working on it. Just wait a second. Okay. It's here. So... One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Just tell me. Can you hear me now? Please give me some sign if you can hear me, because right now I know that you can hear. Right now I know that. Well, <laughs> I understand, but uh, this is not my problem now. That's okay. Let's see. Now say say it again, please. Can you hear me? And uh, who is that? What is your name? My name is Alena. Okay, it's nice to meet you, Alena. All right. Um, how about anybody else? Anya, can I hear you? Uh, Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Very nice. Um, Yuri, can you turn your microphone on? Very good. And please say something. Yuri? Can, can you can you say something? All right. Um so it's so good to have you here all of you and uh, first of all I I just want to say a kind of a belated Merry Christmas to you. If you celebrate Christmas, I mean the 25th of December. So Merry Christmas to you. All right. So what are you supposed to say? Thank you. Thank you. And a happy upcoming... Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, and, uh, and a happy new year. upcoming Happy New Year, upcoming. So, 
Uh, that's kind of a two new words for you is belated. Belated. You understand the word belated? Belated Merry Christmas. Do you understand that? What is that? Belated Merry Christmas. It's kind of a when it's today is not the 25th of December and I'm late. Uh, but I still want to congratulate you, to wish you a Merry Christmas. So that is why I use the word belated. And another word is upcoming. So what is upcoming? Okay. Not happened yet. Right. And uh, it is uh, still coming. Um, it's about the new year. All right. Very good. So what we do today is today we talk about how we can ask for help and how we can um, uh, how we can say thank you for help and then we'll talk about your essays but before that let's talk a little bit about Christmas about a uh, new year so do you have any um, let's say customs, traditions, observations of this day? Yes, please. All right. In Russia, we decorate uh, this Okay. With the different uh, ribbons, uh, tools. All right, Anya, how about you? Okay. Anya? I think that my family haven't got special traditions, uh, but uh, we just uh, want to stay together uh, with the uh, and the children it uh, all together with our relatives and uh, maybe uh, friends. Very good, very cool. So, um, what I want to remind you is uh, if you can hear this sound. Can you hear this sound? Yes. So, what is what is this sound yeah, about? Bell. Jingle bells. All right. So, can we can we sing together? Let's try. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, all the fields we go. Come on, guys. Can you join me? Well, you are supposed to know at the very least and by your memory one verse and uh, one chorus. So, let me remind you dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing. Dashing that means that you are going very fast. Through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Sleigh is a sled. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring. Bells, which are jingling. Uh, bobtails, this is the tail of the horse. They are making spirits bright. And what a fun it is to ride. And sing a slaying song tonight. Okay? So then uh, you have jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay. So do not forget that Joanne uh, promised to attend the class as always, but she might be late because you remember that in the United States of America right now, it's pretty early. It's around in your in your place. It's West Virginia. It's around ten in the morning. So we have uh, to kind of a practice before she is coming. And if she is not coming, that's okay. It's just for us. 
all right can you join me so please again dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh all the fields we go laughing all the way oh 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 bells on bobtails ring making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight hey Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All oh, the fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Thank you, it was great. Thank you so much. And again, um, I just encourage you to remember at the very least one verse and uh, one chorus from this song because everybody knows that, okay? Um, all right, uh, let's have a look at what we have today. So, if you look at the pictures, and this is uh, pretty easy, but still we need to remember all of that. Um, what uh, can you see in the first picture? What is that? Just tell me. Exercise one and first picture one. Uh huh. There is one the woman in a green dress. Uh huh. And she is uh, talking to different. So that's that's a young girl. Her name is Vera. Um, that's uh, a book about an international competition, and uh, it it happens. The book is not from Russia, but uh, the book is from America. But still, we have one Russian girl in this book, and uh, the the a lady, the young lady with black hair. Her name is Kimi. He is from Japan. So, uh, what is Kimi doing? Uh, with black hair uh, there are two women mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about the first picture of course ah, so. uh. okay please I cannot hear you. No, I cannot hear you. Anya. Yeah, right now I will I will be able to hear you. Please say it again. Uh, do you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, the woman in the first picture is washing up. Yeah, she's washing the dishes, right. So, Anna disconnected and I have no idea why. Maybe she's having problems with the internet connection. Alright, yeah, she connected over again. So, I will just connect your microphone. Anya, um, just tell, tell me something. What is going on with you? Anya, what is going on? All right, so um, Kimi is washing the dishes, and uh, what is uh, Vera, uh, what is she, what is Vera willing to do? Okay. Yeah, so she is offering, she is offering her help. And uh, in a way that you see, do you want any help? And uh, as you can see, Kimi, she agrees. She says, yes, please. All right, the second picture in the middle. So this boy, the, the boy's name is... Uh, is it a boy or a girl? Uh, the, uh, sitting at the table, I think, I think, I, I don't remember everybody. <laughs> I just think that this is a boy. Um, I think his name is Luigi. I think he is from Italy. 
So let's let's pretend that this is uh, a boy and he is from Italy and his name is Luigi. So um, what about um, Vera? What is Luigi doing and what is Vera willing to do? As I Sorry? As I understood, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the boy is doing his Well, probably he is, uh, as you can oh, see, he, he has Anya. Can, can you join us? So the... Uh, 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 yes. Yeah. What, what can you see on the table in, f in front of the boy? Letters. Yeah, the the pile the pile of envelopes, and uh, as I can understand, uh, Luigi is uh, getting prepared for let's say Christmas. So he's trying to fill in lots of um, postcards, then put them in the envelopes and send them at the uh, at the post office. Okay. So he's writing lots of uh, letters, he's writing lots of postcards. And uh, again, what is uh, Vera willing to do? She, uh... she is looking at uh, Luigi, yeah, right, and we are talking about help today. So, you, you can read, uh, it says uh, um, down there uh, in, the, in the book, I mean on the page which I uh, present to you. So, Vera is uh, willing to do what? She offers her help. Absolutely, she is offering her help, right, you are. And again, um, you see the difference. Uh, when we talk, usually when we talk about the picture, we are looking at the person and we are using present continuous. She is offering her help because if you remember, she offers, uh, that means that she offers every day, always, her help. But uh, here, as you can see, it's at the present moment she is just offering her help okay um so and uh, what are the exact words which she is uh, saying would you like any help right you are would you like any help so you see this is another way to offer help do you want any help yes please would you like any help and uh, what what would uh, Ma Luigi say? He no, thank you. Yeah, he disagrees uh, because um, that's probably that's personal letters. Okay, uh, the third picture. What is going on here? Okay. On the third picture. Uh huh. Well, I I'm not sure, but I as I remember this um, lady with dark hair. Her name is Fanny, and she is from France. This young lady, she is. Uh, her name is Fanny. She is from France, but I'm not very sure about that. But let's pretend that she this this is Fanny, and her name is, uh, and she is from France. Okay. What is Mary yeah? Is open her help again. Yeah, but what what is what is Fanny doing? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, say it again because uh, the sound was pretty. Haircut. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure that this is possible for a lady to make a haircut uh, yourself. I think that you need a hairstylist for that. So probably she's just doing her hair. 
she's doing a hairdo or just doing her hair okay um, she's styling her hair she's doing her hair okay and uh, what is uh, Vera offering Maybe she's offering to comb her hair. Right, you are. Right. To brush, to comb, um, whatever it is in her hand. I'm not sure whether this is a comb or a brush. And usually we say to brush uh, the hair. Um, okay. And uh, the way she addresses uh, um, is, uh, do you need any help? Uh, and Fanny answers then this is very kind of her. Okay. Um, if you... Can I ask you? Yes, sure, of course. And uh, what about a system? Is it a miracle therapy? Sorry? A little... Uh, just tell me a little bit uh, louder. Uh-huh. Uh, can can you say it again? Uh, what about the word assistant? What about the word and uh, I I cannot hear the last word at all. Assistant. Assistant. Uh, what do what do you mean by assistant? Assistant. A assistant. Well, uh, if you want to use the word assistant, that's possible. Yeah. yeah, that's that's possible. But uh, you know, it's kind of a more of a technical term um, just when we mostly when we talk about the beginner level we use the word help and that is why I just want you to remember the ways to offer help do you want any help do you need any help would you like any help okay now please have a look at exercise 4 and add the pictures also Exercise 4. Uh, it says write the sentences. We are not writing sentences. We just will put the sentences in the right order. Just please put the sentences in the right order. Hi, Miss Manners. Would you like any help? Hi, Miss Manners. Right here. Would you like any help? Anya, can you, uh, can you say the next sentence? Anya, you turn off your microphone. Please turn it on. Uh-huh. So what is this second sentence? What do you think? Yes, please. That would be nice. Uh, that would be nice. Okay. Um, Alona, next. What would you like me to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, Anya. Clean the board and pick up the books, please. Clean the board and pick up the books, please. So, you see, we are talking about this mess. Cleaning the mess. You understand, right? To clean the mess. That means to put everything in order. The, the boy is cleaning the mess. So... Um, Alona, next sentence, please. Is it all? You think so? Is that all? Yeah, is that all? Mm -hmm. Very good. Anya? Yes, that's all. Thank you. All right, very good. So now you remember that um, when you want to offer help, Mostly you have uh, three, three patterns, three sentences. Do you want any help? Would you like any help? Do you need any help? Okay. And when you want to answer, when somebody is offering you help, you answer like, yes, please. No, thank you. That's very kind of you. So these are kind of a main patterns of offering and asking for uh, and answering for help okay so the the next question if you remember was uh, uh, about your essays and uh, 
if you remember the previous class we talked about the boy I'm just looking for this but yeah if you remember um, the the boy who was found in the year 1800 in one of the small villages in France so if you remember he was 12 years old he couldn't talk and so on then uh, in the second part of the story we learned that uh, the boy died when he was uh, 48 years old and uh, the question was why did he die so uh, you remember that some of you the previous class you told me that probably he died because of the lack of communication because he still when he was 48 years old before his death he still couldn't talk he still couldn't, um, well, communicate with uh, people in a, in a way we do. The only thing which he could uh, was to hug people and that's it. So, the essay question for you was that some people think that people can die because of the lack of communication. And other people think that this is not a big problem at all. So, let's talk a little bit about that, let's review and let's think um, what you can say about that. Again, um, let me find where was that, the essay question. Okay, some people think that people die because of lack of communication, other people think that that is not a big problem. What is your opinion? Okay. Well, what's the problem? Uh, I am a nurse and uh, I didn't know about this. Uh, that doesn't matter at all. That's the topic for our uh, conversation right now. Um, we usually, uh, you know, people who are coming here, that's just, you know, accidentally that Anya, uh, she is not for the first time and uh, I just remember her but most of the people who come here they m most of all they for the first time so uh, the, the meaning is that you just start talking on the spot you have this topic you have this um, essay question and uh, you need to, uh, to think and you need to talk well Anya uh, if you remember I checked your essay and I sent you back and I ask you to correct your mistakes. Yeah. So, now it's your turn. All right. Oh, ladies, uh, okay. If you want me to talk on uh, the uh, whole... I need to correct yeah. my mistakes? No, no, no. We, it's just uh, explain your opinion. That's it. So, first of all, you remember that... First of all, uh, we... Yeah. In my opinion, communication is very important nowadays. Um, Anya, first of all, if you remember, we have to restate the essay question. 
that means uh, that you have to repeat what is says what is said in uh, uh, the essay question in your own words so please do it uh, yeah about the importance of communication a lot in recent years. Okay. Um, and then, after that, immediately after uh, you restated the essay question, you are supposed to say what you think. So, do my opinion, yeah? communication is important in no, no, no. You, you, you have to choose, you have to select. Some people think that people die. People can die because of lack of communication. Other people think that this is not a problem. Now, please choose. Do you think that people can die because of lack of communication or this is not a big problem? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Some yeah. of the day are ready to live alone, but some of them want. Uh, no, you, you, Anya, you, you still don't. Others. Is it possible? Yeah. Do, you, you still do not understand me. Okay. Let's let's listen to Alena. Alena, what do you think? Hello. How many people? Hello. Yes, please. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Uh, many people believe that uh, you can die if you don't have any person with you that can talk to you every day. Okay. And uh, some people think that it's not a trouble and you can live alone all your life. Okay. What is your opinion? Uh, from my point of view, I agree with psychology. So, any person comes to the Uh, what do you mean again? So that uh, and, uh, we are uh -huh. and we are social. We are social. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, this is why we hear. <laughs> I understand. This is this is what I teach. Uh, you know, I. Uh, I mean. I, yes. I know that you can. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know how to say it in English. Yes, you do. You know, and please do not switch into Russian. I know that you can, yes, you can say anything in English, and please do not switch into Russian. I will not understand you in uh, Russian, and I will not find uh, the words for you in Russian. So, um, Alena, uh, believe me, it's not a problem right now to think about the proper words. The problem is uh, to make the format of the essay. And uh, just now we are trying to learn this part, the format of the essay. So first of all, as you said, and this is absolutely correct, you said that for some people it's very hard to live uh, without anybody close to them. And for other people, they even do not think about that. So then, that this is the meaning that you restated the problem which was uh, put in the essay question. Then uh, you have to choose your opinion. Either you for the first part or for the second. And you see, 
I didn't understand uh, which part you chose, the first or the second. Just be very direct, very straightforward. Uh, I said... Yes. Maybe it was the problem of... I agree with the... Mm -hmm. Those psychologists who think uh, that people can die without mm -hmm. communication. All right. So somebody joined us. Okay. Um, Rima, it's so good to have you here. All right. That's good. So uh, now, Anya, back to you. Again, I want you to choose one way for your uh, explanation further on. Do you think that people can live fine without any communication? Or do you think that people can die because of lack of communication? So going back to this French boy, or, uh, you know, that even in our days, I heard one of my students told me that uh, somewhere in Thailand, they found a girl who lived in the jungle. And uh, she also cannot talk. And this happens in our days. So maybe you know these stories. And again, going back to this French boy in 1800, uh, you know that he died when he was 48 years old and of course this is the not the uh, the age of uh, life expectancy probably at that time it was around uh, 70 years old so some people think that he died because he couldn't communicate he couldn't communicate with people like a social person like a member of the society so, Anya, what do you think? Um, is, it, is it okay to say that people can die because of lack of communication? Or um, it's not a big problem? Just choose. Uh, I think that it is important to be a part of society. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I understand. Uh, you know that I I try to 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 find the questions for you which will not uh, let you uh, be uh, you know evasive, uh, um, not to be direct. Because when you when you will write your essay in the Russian state exam, you will always have to choose only one way. So, I, I still do not understand. Do you think that people can die of lack of, uh, lack of communication? Or uh, do you think that this is not a big problem? Just choose one. I think that people can die without... Without communication. All right. Okay. So, I, I thought that probably you will be the opponent to Aleona. But you, you still have this, this, the same opinion. That's okay. Now, you remember that after you chose your position, then you have to give two ideas which will support your opinion. Let me explain why two ideas. Because when you give only one idea, it will not explain you. Let's say if you ask a kid why is the car riding, he will say that because the wheels rotate. And this is not the explanation. You will have to say that the wheels rotate because the engine works. Or if you ask a kid why the trees move, uh, the kid will tell you that they move because of the wind but then you will have to explain that the layers of air are cold and hotter and those which are cold they move down and that is why they make the trees move now you see that when you give two ideas explaining 
your point, then you cover the topic of your essay question. Now you chose that people, like you say, people can die because of lack of communication. Now you have to explain your point. Why do you think so? For example, if we have some troubles in our life, uh -huh. uh, we want somebody to help us. Right. Very good. Um, Alena, can you uh, add something? Uh, I have read uh, that in you babies, mm -hmm. who uh, don't uh, get any uh, change communication, mm -hmm. uh, we are coming. Right. And that's why it uh, improves the first opinion. Uh huh. Okay. I understand. I see. Uh, so, Rima, uh, you have uh, a microphone. Uh, don't you? So will you please turn your microphone on and uh, join the conversation? Yeah, I, I, I see that you can turn the microphone on. Please say hello to us. Will you? Uh, you can type there in the chat window. Just type hi or hello to us. Please. Okay. Um, yeah, hello to you, and uh, please turn your microphone on. <coughs> okay, um, ladies, let's move on. So, if you ask me, for example, uh, for for me, I will I will think um, maybe I I will try to explain the things uh, uh, in a way, for example, that. If you think of uh, man, uh, for man, this is not a big problem, not to have a lot of communication. And uh, if you think of uh, women, that um, sometimes it can be a problem. If you just see, uh, if just think of uh, uh, women who are around you um, you know that most of the time you can see that women talk um, on the bus um, and uh, if you think for example of your dad uh, when he's home uh, probably he doesn't talk a lot um, it's it's just it just my suppositions is it's what I'm thinking so why uh, why i think so uh, because i think that uh, women they understand that they can fix their problems only when they listen to other women talking about their problems when you think of men most of the time the 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 best way for men is uh, to make something with their own hands and when they when they make something with their hands this is uh, not necessary for them to communicate to talk then can do everything alone so that is why uh, i just explain you both points of view uh, let's say for and against now um if you just after you listen to me, can you add something? Do you think uh, that you you will be able to add something? What is that? Yes, please. I'm raising my hand. <coughs> please talk. 
You you can talk without raising your hand. Um, uh -huh. uh, you said that men can uh, sleep with young Mhm. Mm right. But what about a boy who died at forty-two without? Uh, uh, you know that this is only a supposition. Nobody knows for sure why he died at the age of 48. This is only a supposition that he died because of lack of communication. Um, and y you know that, of course, we, we do not have the hundred... Unfortunately, I haven't got a microphone. May I just listen to quick-witted English speech through the speaker? <laughs> quick-witted. <laughs> um, so, um, again, you know that we do not have the 100% answers. We are just uh, talking about the uh, essay questions which are possible uh, for your um, uh, essay writings in the Russian state exam. Okay? Um, Anya, can you add something? I think that you are actually right. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm not so uh, friendly as I want to be. Uh, and uh, I haven't got a lot of friends, but I still believe that it is very important to communicate with each other. Okay. Very good. So, you see, um, then after we gave these two positions uh, and, uh, you know, I tried to explain to you uh, just my way, how it would be possible for me to, uh, to talk about that. Then, you know, that after that, and I, I didn't tell you that, but I, I would still... I um, choose uh, uh, that people will definitely die because of lack of communication. So, going to the conclusion, I would say that, um, of course, uh, the, the, the position when we say that most of men, they, they need to make something with their own hands and they do not need a lot of communication. Uh, this position will not make me... Uh, aware that this is exactly so. So that is why I will choose uh, uh, again the the point of view about the, uh, the, the what we started with that uh, it's impossible to live uh, without communication and people uh, need uh, to communicate. Okay, now. Uh, I'm I'm just thinking about the the topic for you for the next class for your essay and uh, uh, I just have a question to you. Uh, what's new happened to you during this week? And uh, um, maybe you heard something on the news which uh, touched upon you, which you remember and which you want to share with us. So, what's new? I just have a lot of um, exams in my school again because it is uh, mm -hmm. because uh, my teachers need uh, to uh, need to write. You ask Max. Okay. Alena, how about you? Um, my friend uh, advised me to watch uh, Godfather uh -huh. in English. And uh, today I was watching it uh, for about 15 years. Uh -huh. I 
So, uh, if you ask me, uh, of course, uh, as as a man, uh, again, I, you know, I was just following the news, and uh, during this week, now uh, what happened for me was a very significant um, and a, a very sad thing that uh, the designer of the Russian uh, submachine gun AK-47. Uh, Mikhail Kalashnikov died. Have you heard of that? Oh, of course, it is very sad information. Um, so again, the designer of the um, Russian submachine gun, which is uh, the official name is AK-47. Uh, when you think of uh, uh, Russia and when you talk to Americans, uh, this is the brand uh, number one about Russia is uh, AK-47. Brand number two is uh, probably that's not a good brand, but this is vodka. And then the third is caviar and so on. So, you know that some people say that... Uh, and uh, I, I listened, of course, to uh, only to the news uh, from the foreign uh, radio stations and TV stations. And uh, most of them, they told that lots of people died because of this AK-47. Uh, then, if you think of uh, Mr. Uh, Mikhail Kalashnikov, he said that uh, Kalashnikov eats peace. So, you have two different points of view, and uh, as always, it's uh, an essay question. So, what is, uh, um, what is uh, this person for you? What is Mr. Mikhail Kalashnikov for you? So again, some people think that uh, Kalashnikov is peace. Other people think that lots of people died because of this man. What do you think? To be honest. Of course. <laughs> I uh, thought that Kalashnikov died in uh, many, many years ago. Really? <laughs> now he died uh, two days. And, uh, I was surprised uh, when I Heard that he died uh, some days ago. Okay. I know nothing about him. Well, you you don't know AK forty seven. I know that uh, there is. I, I put it there. So the because I heard about this guy, but I don't know how. Again, as as I said, uh, Mr. Well, that that doesn't matter. Um, uh, Mr. Kalashnikov said that um, uh, the Kalashnikov gun is peace. And uh, uh, listening to the Western radio stations and TV stations, I heard that they said that lots of people died because of that. So what is your opinion? Uh, American people say that. Americans, uh, British, um, who else I heard? Let me think of. Uh, um, it's um, you know the Al Jazeera channel is uh, I think from the United uh, United Arab Emirates. So lots lots of radio and TV stations said. Uh.
I mean, you can see like that, but because of the people are crazy and, and they are ready to kill each other in the street. And maybe the youth is in AK-47. They, they have their, their own gun, which is called the M16. Okay, Anya, what do you think? Uh, as for me, I'm sure uh, people have um, something bad. Some uh, and the AK-47 has uh, a lot not good uh, from one point of view and add uh, other point of view. But uh, I think that uh, this invention of Karashka is very important for uh, many countries and um, it helped to make uh, peace in our and uh, maybe mm -hmm. I think uh, with people uh, uh, working each other, uh, maybe uh, one uh, part of uh, just uh, wanted to um, uh, help uh, maybe their relatives uh, to live in their country and to be free in country during the uh, war. Okay, um, so, um, that brings brings us to uh, your home essay. Now you can see that um, I put it on the board. Some people think that politics is a noble pursuit. Do you understand the words noble and pursuit? What is noble? Can you explain pursuit? Uh, of course. Um, Pursuit is uh, is an, uh, another meaning for this word is career. the The only thing, the only difference is that uh, it's like in a in a hunt. When you are hunting, um, then or one animal hunts another, uh, the animal is chasing uh, another animal. And uh, another word for chasing is uh, to uh, make a pursuit, to follow. So, um, another meaning for pursuit is what career the person follows, what career the person chooses in his life. Um, do you understand the word noble? What is noble? Something like great. Noble, the, the meaning is that uh, you are from a very good family that your ancestors are of uh, a very noble origin like maybe you are from a royal family or your ancestors were kings or uh, maybe from the surrounding uh, of the king so that means that the person is noble okay I can I can give you the translation uh, there uh, in the window okay uh, excuse me it's noble not noble uh, th there is the misprint excuse me and then you can say it like that okay so and other other people think that this is that politics is ugly. Now, what is your opinion? What do you think? 
So this this will be your homework. We'll talk about that the next class, and the next class we'll talk about the future. The excuse me, the the ways to to use in future in uh, English. Okay. All right. Um, any questions? Yes, I have some questions. Yes, please. Uh, can I send you uh, an essay uh, uh, to check? Of course, please. You are very oh, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, please do. All right, any other questions? Okay, if no questions, uh, yeah. Go All right, if you have no questions, so that was a pleasure seeing you, and I hope to see you next Friday, which I think will be in uh, um, in the next year. So probably that I will not see you this year anymore. So that that is why I just wish you. A very very happy new year. Okay. Thank you. Thank you and you too. Yes. Now that's it for today. Bye bye. Bye.